you know, I hope the Nintendo Switch 2 price leak is right because I think $399.99 would be perfect for the Nintendo Switch, assuming it checks two boxes, that is. One, it's more powerful, obviously. I ain't paying for the same level of power as the original Nintendo Switch. I mean, let's all be honest here. If it's called the Switch 2, I need it to be more powerful. And also have backwards compatibility as well. I need my Switch collection to follow me on the new Nintendo Switch, which, by the way, what about you guys? How much are you willing to pay for the Nintendo Switch 2, and do you want backwards compatibility? Hey guys, it's Rob here, and welcome back to the Robochon Show, where we take the gaming news format that channels like Spawnwood or Arlo do, add a dash of animation and some cool editing on top to bring you your gaming news, leaks, and rumors in a fresh new way. If you're new here and want to be kept up on everything gaming, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you enjoy the video and dislike if not. In this video, we are going to talk about a new Nintendo Switch leak for the price for the Nintendo Switch 2, as well as an update on the holiday leak for the bundles. We have a little bit more information on that. I'll also quickly go over the past leaks for that as well, so everyone's caught up and there's a clear story from start to finish on the recent update on this leak. We also have a pretty big Nintendo Switch game that leaked out that's recently coming up this month, The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, so we're going to cover that as well. No spoilers, of course. I actually have some plans for a big animation for that so I want to play that on a certain date I'll talk about with that when we get to that topic it's gonna be pretty fun and we have some smaller news topics as well if you guys enjoy this video leave a like it helps the video reach more viewers when you do and if you want to follow me on Twitter my Twitter handle is RoboRob93 without further delay let's get on to the topics so first up let's look at some clips from the last episodes that'll catch you guys up who don't know all the details on this but they're also hearing something else this is what the article says respected video game leaker bible coon i probably said his name wrong apologize if i did has posted on x to say that the industry whispers around a switch to reveal this month is actually for the new nintendo switch oled model bundle which features a sublime super mario bros wonder and a three-month subscription of nintendo switch online it makes sense for nintendo to create a new nintendo switch oled bundle to continue to drive sales before the successor to the Nintendo Switch and when it's revealed. According to the ever-reliable data miner Bill Bill Coon, I think I said it wrong last time, I think I called him Bible Coon, Nintendo is planning to announce five new Switch bundles, at least three of which will be launching in September. Writing on Deal Labs, they claim that the bundles will include two Switch Lite packs, each priced at 219 euros, and a regular Switch console bundled with Nintendo Switch Sports, and a 12-month Nintendo Switch Online subscription, 299 euros. Now this and now we have the update on the recent Nintendo Switch on exactly what these bundles are. So first up, this is what Nintendo everything has to say. It's usually a lot closer to the holidays that we start hearing about Switch bundles. Any new package featuring Super Mario Bros. Wonder has just been announced. Well, at least in one territory. Over in Australia and New Zealand, the upcoming bundle will feature a white OLED system. Super Mario Bros. Wonder will technically be a digital copy as it comes pre-installed. And other than that, each unit includes a 12-month subscription subscription to the Nintendo Switch online service. And they go on to say, as of now, the Super Mario Bros. Wonder Switch OLED bundle hasn't been announced for other regions yet. And of course, if you're subscribed to the channel, you'll get the news on that when that drops as well. You can get that starting October 24th. Now, as you guys know, there was supposed to be more than one bundle, and we do have an update on that as well, and this is what Deal Labs has to say on that. We have just identified the contents of two packs offering Switch Lite consoles. These will be Pack 1 Switch Lite Turquoise, Timmy and Tommy's Edition, Console Plus, Animal Crossing New Horizon, which to be honest, I've been wanting to get back into Animal Crossing New Horizon, so I might actually get this. I know the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be announced, but honestly, I love Animal Crossing. I do want to switch light still, you know, even if it's just for collection purposes, so I might get it. But anyways, Pack 2, Switch Lite Coral Console, Isabel Aloha Edition, which that's one, one I'll probably get, Animal Crossing New Horizon pre-installed, 12 months of Nintendo Switch online service subscription. Now, the next next pack that they said is going to be here is the Nintendo Switch Sports Pack. Contains a Nintendo Switch console, neon blue slash neon red color, plus a pre-installed Nintendo Switch Sports game with 12 months of Nintendo Switch online subscription. And that's going to be 299 euros. And by the way, the other two before this were 219 euros each. And we also have the Nintendo Switch OLED packs, which we already have one of them that were announced for the Australia and New Zealand release, the Super Mario Bros. Wonder one. But the last one is a Nintendo 
the Twitch OLED model, and that one has unknown content for now, which is kind of strange. But to me, I wouldn't be surprised if it's some upcoming Nintendo Switch game. Maybe it's gonna be a Mario and Luigi themed Nintendo Switch OLED. That would actually be pretty cool. The next one we're gonna be talking about is a Nintendo Switch 2 leak. The price for the Nintendo Switch 2 may have leaked. This is what comicbook.com has to say, and I do have some stuff to say on this, especially when it comes to the price, but I'll talk about that after you guys get the information. The rumor comes from an anonymous source, but one with an interesting track record. More specifically, the rumor emerged out of an unofficial Discord for GTA 6 from the user called Moisty Charlie, which is just a... The funniest name. Typically, anonymous sources aren't worth paying too much attention to. However, this user reportedly leaked the PS5 Pro announcement date and price point before any of the details were officially revealed by Sony. And considering no one saw the PS5 Pro's 700 price point coming, it is safe to rule out any double lucky guesses. According to the leaker, the Nintendo Switch 2 will be announced early next month, when exactly in October, the leaker doesn't say, but early suggests the first half of the month, possibly the first week. Providing more specific details, the leaker also mention a price point if the information is accurate the Nintendo Switch 2 will release at $400. So there is a couple things that you have to keep in mind here. Some people were guessing the 700 price point for the PS5 but aside from that if this does end up being true this does make me wonder about the TGA the Tokyo Game Show. Could Nintendo end up teasing an October reveal for the Nintendo Switch 2? Again that's just like the Nintendo Switch 1. It was revealed in October if I remember correctly. So if that does happen the bundles that Nintendo are releasing have nothing to do with the Nintendo Switch 2 and we're still going to be getting that Nintendo Switch 2 reveal. And I'm actually pretty happy if it is in October. I mean, that's pretty soon. We're already halfway through September. That means we could get the Nintendo Switch within the coming weeks, which was actually part of another insider, if you guys remember. I think it was Paul Gale who said that in the coming weeks that we will be getting a Nintendo Switch 2. I'd have to double check on that, but I'm pretty sure it was Paul Gale. So if that does happen, that does line up with that. I mean, that would be absolutely insane if we end up getting the Nintendo Switch 2 reveal in October. Now talking a bit about the price point, personally I feel that for, not, I was about to say $4.99, not $4.99, $399.99 would be a great price point for the Nintendo Switch 2. It's just over the original Nintendo Switch price. Hopefully we'll get a price decrease for the original Nintendo Switch. Something tells me we probably will. And even for the Nintendo Switch Lite as well, unless people start buying Nintendo Switches again when the Switch 2 comes out and it's getting a whole bunch of new crazy games. But if not, the Switch sales for that will decline and what will bring those sales back up is probably a price decrease. Maybe $299.99 or maybe even $250. Switch Lite maybe will be $150. I mean, that would be insane if they popped the Nintendo Switch Lite down to $150. A lot of people would buy those up, especially the special editions. And speaking of Nintendo Switch Lite, well, at least the game that is associated with that, The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, Nintendo's big next game, The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, has leaked out. If you guys haven't seen this yet or haven't been spoiled that or maybe some of you guys actually do have the ROM. <laughs> no spoilers in the comment section. Apparently the game has leaked out online via the ROM that you can play on the Nintendo Switch emulator and spoilers are making the rounds so be very careful out there. The footage that you're seeing in the background if it is the Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom this is the trailer it's nothing from the game it's nothing that you wouldn't have already seen from the trailers because it is the trailer. <laughs> Now, as far as what I was talking about with the content, the reason why I'm not going to be playing the ROM at all, that's, I mean, that's illegal in the first place. But secondly, I want to play it on the weekend it's coming out. So I probably won't be playing it day one because I'll have work during that time because I'm pretty sure it releases during the week. But that weekend on Saturday, I want to stream it for eight hours straight and then I'm going to take all of that footage and basically animate myself and my character playing through the game. Kind of like how Janie Animation does her Pokemon Nuzlocke videos, but for me, it's just my character playing and maybe some clips from the stream and stuff. So I'm still planning it out, of course, time, dates and all that. But that's the reason why that I will not be playing the ROM, nor do I have any want to. Because I don't want to be spoiled. I want to play it with everyone else. Well, I don't know. Maybe if I have that day off, I'll change the date, but I highly doubt it. But yeah, it has leaked out, so be careful, guys. And by the way, speaking of the Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, for those who don't have a lot of storage on there, like basically no storage now, make sure you have at least 5.4 gigabytes for the Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Because according to the eShop, that is going to be the file size for that. And another update on a Nintendo Switch game, or if you're on PS5 or PC, Shin Megami Tensei 5 has a new update. An update that I will not be sharing the picture because... <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna put that. I might get demonetized if I show that on screen. <laughs> I'll blur it out. Uh, that might also get me demonetized. I guess we'll see. But uh, th I don't know what they were doing there. You artists are crazy when it comes to this game. <laughs> but yeah, they're adding some new quests and I'm guessing some new monsters as well. But yeah, that's all the news and rumors and leaks I have for you guys today. Make sure you guys tell me your thoughts on them in the comment section below. And let me know if you're getting uh, Echoes of Wisdom on day one. Remember, those who are playing the ROM, no spoilers. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Still watching this video and not correcting me on my probably dumb mistake, I want to say thank you for reaching this video this far. And um, oh, here's a cookie. For those who don't know, YouTube considers cookies potentially inappropriate for some reason. So let's spam those cookies in the comment section. I want to see pages among pages. Just go wild with cookies in the comment section. And if not on your way out, make sure you subscribe for more videos and also have that notification bell on. And if you want to support the channel in any other way, there is my Patreon and Twitter account in the pinned comment if you're interested in those. Oh, and also have this donut if you're still sticking around for me rambling. Thanks for watching guys and remember, stay safe, stay charged, and have a good one.